What's up, guys? Here we are again, ready to go on another dash. Uh, doing the evening one. Did a lunch one earlier today. It's Veterans Day, so I've been off all day. Not really off because I've been door dashing, but I've been off from my regular job all day. It's my day. It's Veterans Day. So y'all need to pay me some money. Not you. People I'm dashing to. I'm gonna go make some money. Alright, looking out the window, my daughter's looking at me. <laughs> I'm gonna go dash, see if I can make some money. I hope I can. I'll let you know what's going on. Alright, four dollars. Oh, I'm sorry, eleven dollars for four miles. This is a new place. Let's go see. I haven't ever been in here. Alright, while well, waiting for that other order, I got this ten dollar order on Uber Eats. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. We are definitely not off to the best of starts right now. That, that uh, order I just took, uh, I just picked up, took, I don't know, I waited 15 minutes for it. They had to call the customer and then it just took forever. It was ridiculous. And while I was waiting, I got an Uber Eats order. I went to go get it afterwards. And even though I had, it had already been like 15 minutes since I received that order, it was gonna be another 15 minutes before it was ready, so I had to sign that. I'm not waiting another 15 minutes. I already got one order picked up, so I hope it gets better. So anyway, I'm on my way to drop this one off. So annoying when people have say hand it to me and then don't answer the door at the time. That was completely annoying. Uh, whenever you say hand to me, please answer the door. You know, don't make me ring the bell twice and then knock. Waited there like three or four minutes. That's some BS. Anyway, <laughs> gotta drop it off. See what else I can get. All right, I actually have four orders all in the same direction. One from Uber Eats, one for two from DoorDash, and one from Grubhub from this restaurant. So, I'm gonna go grab them. Of course, it's gonna be on the other side. We're in an apartment complex. I got lucky, you can barely see the uh, didn't give me a building number, can barely see the apartment numbers, but I got lucky and it was the first one I came to, even though I didn't get any directions. She did give me a gate code though. And now I gotta find where in her apartment, where in her building that it is. What do you wanna bet it's gonna be upstairs? Yep, upstairs, like always. Second DoorDash order. Trying to find the right door. I think this one might be in here. Yeah. Not too bad. All right, here we go with the Uber Eats order. These guys, the grub hub order, were literally next door neighbors, right across the street. That was nice. Man, that was pretty crazy. Four orders, all from the same restaurant, all in general vicinity of each other, and two of them were literally right across the street from each other. <laughs> I think that is a first for me. So none of them were huge. I think 
one was nine, one was seven something, one was six and a half, and the Uber Eats, I don't remember. But I think it was probably close to, I don't know, it was 30, 35 bucks total, something like that. But definitely worth it, the way it worked out. Um, <laughs> but that was crazy. I'm <coughs> okay, I just got a $8 order, 2.3 miles, a little lower than I usually take, but who knows, maybe it's the end tip. It's not very far. Uh, I'm at $47 at seven o'clock, so close to the right pace. A few dollars behind, but nothing major. Uh, hopefully it'll pick up or keep up or whatever, and I'll get closer right at that $100. So I'm gonna go, it's just right here, and uh, pick that up. Right, there we are. Right in there. All right, eight minutes. Nine minutes from drop off to pick up. Can't beat that. And I got another order from Grubhub. Wait for when you go grab it real quick. Twelve dollars and six miles for that one. Eight dollars for this one. All right, Grubhub order bag of crabs. All right, 1275, I believe, for seven miles and change. This might actually end up being my last order. It's taking me fairly close to home. Uber's just giving me BS Walmart orders right now and kind of slowed down. So unless something pops up that's really good, this is probably my last one. Put me around 80 bucks. All right, while I was waiting on that order, I got an order for $9 and change on Grubhub that's on the way. So I can do this one real quick. That'll get me closer, should get me $90, something like that. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go around and pick this up right, right quick. Original Mails. This apartment complex is the absolute worst, hardest to find because they don't put any building numbers and apartment numbers on the outside. But I think they're so bad that the tenants know because I always get instructions nine times out of ten from people ordering from this place. So it almost works in your favor. I say that and the next one will be awful. Upstairs like usual. All right, guys, that's my last one. Headed to the house. I think I made right at $90, give or take. I think it's right at $90, though. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Not too bad. Not for three hours, about 30 bucks an hour. So, kind of on the low end for me, but that's okay. Uh, can't ever complain about $30 an hour delivering food, that's for sure. <laughs> so, I'm gonna head to the house, and like I say, uh, said in the other video the other day, I uh, gotta leave Sunday. Today's Thursday. I gotta leave early Sunday morning going for some training, military training. So, a little TDY action for me. I don't wanna go, but I got to. So, I'll be gone for four days. So, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go spend a little time with the family. Alright, guys, do me a favor. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Maybe leave a comment for me. And uh, I'm going to head in and y'all have a good night.